Hi guys, this is Vidur. I'm a senior systems engineer in Juniper Networks for Mist Wireless. And today we'll try to understand a bit about WXLAN engine in the Mist dashboard and how we can configure it and create policies around it. Okay, so this is the Mist dashboard and what we'll do is we'll straight away go to the place where we'll create policies so that we understand it better with the help of an example. Uh, Mist, Mist WXLAN engine is an in-house uh, policy service engine that we have uh, which is used to create policies on 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 access points on clients on on wlans you know to restrict them or to allow some access on different applications different ip addresses so more or like you know if you want to restrict or allow certain things on a, on a wlan or an access point or a client or any host name that is that is the place to go and do it okay uh, and just fyi this these policies are actually implemented on the clients or uh, any Wi-Fi client once they are associated to the access point you know they have to be connected to the access point first for these policies to get enforced on them okay so uh, for, 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 for you to understand this this concept better you need to understand the process and the concept of labels first uh, let's say uh, in network we see labels here and in org we see labels here as well so there are two kinds of labels that we can create in the MIST dashboard one is which can be enforced on the site level. Anything under network will be on the site level and anything under org will be on the org level. Let's say if you want to create a policy to be enforced on the entire org, then you create labels from the org tab. If you want to create policies to be implemented on the site level, then you go here in network and, and create labels from here. Okay, it's a very simple thing. Uh, label is basically, I'll, I'll just explain this to you with the help of an example. Let's click on label now i am uh, it says it has no label so i'm going to click on click on add label and let's let's see what kind of label types we have here okay let me zoom in a bit so that we know what we are doing uh, clearly uh, okay i see app client i see uh, access point i see applications let me zoom in a bit more yeah that's better okay so host name ip address ip protocol port wi-fi client so let me let me take a very simple example here let me see let's let's take a WLAN type of label. Okay, I'm going to give the name as uh, WLAN label and or let's say WLAN underscore test or you know what let's, let's, let's change it to label only. Okay, that's fine. Uh, now what I can do is I can select which what will be the value of my label. You know, I want to impl I want to create a label for a wither underscore guest SSID that I've created. So this label will represent this SSID here and it says is which means this is the exact value or I, if I say not I'm saying anything which is not a guest SSID which is the, of course we have only one dark knight then it's gonna uh, choose this one but I'm gonna say is and I'm gonna create a label here create and I, and I have one label created here now it's I'm gonna this is this is a very simple example so I, I'll tell you what to do next we'll go on uh, network and then policy this is where we'll enforce policies okay now it takes me to this particular page let me zoom in slightly so that you see what's going on uh, this is where you create the rules okay and this is the user part which I can zoom in and show you and this is the resource part you know where you can actually define which resources to allow and, and, and deny so I'll just simply click on add a rule here and just just guys this is this is only for site with your home okay because I've created a label under networks so I click on add rule once I do that now I, I can click the plus sign here it takes me to whatever labels I've created I, I'll say I've created this particular label right now now I select it this label represents the SSID that I've created with an underscore guest right that's what I selected in the label option now I can click on plus here and I can I can allow or deny whatever I want let's say uh, I want to block you know app instagram from him okay so by default it's going to be red uh, when once i select it here it's going to be red because i'm adding a rule because i obviously want to deny it by default everything is allowed so if i don't put instagram here everything is anywhere allowed right that is that is how it works so uh, i can add one more rule if i want I, I want to deny gmail i don't want him to get the access to gmail okay now what he, what i want you to understand is the user part here has to be unique in every line we move forward so if i create another rule here add a rule 
the user part cannot be same as the rule and label anything i want to allow or deny on a single label has to be done in in a single line on on the right hand side if i create one more rule here let me let me show you how what i'm saying i'll click on save okay i'll click on save and i'll add a rule one more rule here and i'll select wlan label okay and then i uh, deny facebook or an and deny flickr so what i'm doing is i'm uh, so this particular rule in the beginning will get implemented and this one will be ignored okay so the first rule will always uh, will always be used first so i'm just going to delete it for now because we don't need it okay perfect so now what i i can actually create different kinds of label i've already created this and saved it i want to do this and i want to go into label once again and I'm, this is going to be another example now another type of label so i'm going to go in uh, and i'm going to add an ip address for example okay this label will be ip address okay ip address sorry ip address label okay so ip address label i'm going to select it to ip address and i can give a list of ips or i can give a cidr as well okay so let's do this 10.10.10.10 10 10 10. that's one ip address and i can spread it by a comma 20.20.20.0 slash 24 i can do this as well okay and now i will just click on create here and i'm good i've created one more label which is the ip address label now what i can do is i can go back to policy and now in the resources i can get this ip address label as well once i select it what i'm doing is I am denying or allowing this range of IP address that I want to. For example, let me deny this because I don't want anyone on this WLAN to be able to access these networks. Okay, I don't want that. Now, this is now this is this is <clears throat> one more thing that you can do. So let me just click, quickly save on this and go back to labels and create a very specific IP address label and give it a name of let's say there's a server IP address of a server now there's there's a there's a server that i want these people to access okay but i don't want them to access anything on that network but i want them to access this particular server this is the server i want them to access okay which lies in the subnet which we previously disabled or or or, or you know denied them but i can actually go back and add a resource and IP server address I can allow it which basically mean I can still what what it will mean is the entire subnet of IP address label in which I've subnet that I've defined here will be will be will be denied but if I want only one IP address or two IP addresses to be allowed I can still do that from using another label another type of label okay I can do that as well okay so there is let's say if, let's see let's see this I will create I'll save this for now and i will create a rule and before i do that i want to make it very simple for you so let's let's go back to let's go to labels once again let's see what other kinds of labels let's say i want to choose uh you know what i want to choose let's say a host name let's define let's define this a host name label Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm actually defining a host name here. The, let's say the host name value would be there's an example written here, uh, you know, list of host name like wikipedia.org or anything that you want. Let's say I want to do apple.com. I want to I want to create a label using the host name label label type and create and create using apple dot uh, create give it a value apple.com. So I'll go to network and policy now. And let's say I want in WLANs I want to make sure i deny or i can allow it that allow that as well or i can deny that as well i'm denying apple.com so nobody on this wlan should be able to go to apple.com okay that's another sort of label that you can actually imply now this is everything on the site everything that i've created right now is implemented on the site level and not on the org level so uh i want to show you one more type of label before we move forward to the org labels let's say i go to network i go to label I want to create a label of AP home 
and my attribute will be access point so now i'm going to i'm going to create a label on the access point so i can click on plus here and i can add whichever access point that i have in my own that is the study room access point and i can do create now this label which is the ap home label is kind of con constituting of the study room access point that we have okay so i'll click on policy and i can let's say i click a plus here I, i'll change another rule to ap home so now everything will be implemented on the ap home uh, label here i can make sure i go ahead and you know deny youtube because anything by default will be anyway be allowed i can deny youtube i can go ahead and, and deny yahoo mail I can go ahead or anything that I want, I can deny. I can deny WhatsApp on this AP. Nobody should be able to, anybody on the AP, whether it's on the guest society or corporate society, anything. Anything on the AP will be blocked access from WhatsApp, YouTube, and Yahoo Mail. Okay, that's that's it. That's that's how you create labels and create. So it's it's a, it's a very simple thing to do. Unlike, you know, in the old scenarios where you used to, where you had to create, uh, you know, access lists and, and call out all sorts of and get confused. This is very simple and this is actually this makes this makes life very very easy for somebody trying to configure any sort of policy on the access point okay so i'll click on save for now so this is for the uh, the site level labels now there is one more thing that you can do you can actually go and create an also uh, you can actually go and create an org level label here click on go on the org tab and click on labels okay so you see i have already created an org label which is the hostname yahoo.com okay similar process i'll click on this to show you how how i did that i gave it a name org label and label type was hostname okay and the value was yahoo.com now there is no way to create a policy here right in the in the org what i can do is i can go in the config templates this is the one i want to add it in it's a very simple process and add a rule here so if you see the config template part here there's a there's an additional section of policy here right add a rule now it says you know whichever label you want to add or let's say you know what that was yahoo.com so for all the users okay for all the users i am going to deny or allow yahoo.com as per my needs all the users if i want to give it to some specific access point or if i want to create a label for for a wlan for the entire org i can do the i can you know follow the same process that i did in the in the site level let's do that just to make it easy for you in the org label okay so in the org label i can quickly come and create a label here which will be done on the org level i can give it a name of uh, you know wlan and i know this particular wlan underscore org and what i can do is i can just select a wlan which is actually called on the entire org okay let's say i want to do this for uh, dark knight or let's say similar to that let's say wizard underscore guest is what i want to choose i'll create it here and now what i'm doing is i can actually go in the config template i can select the template that i want to select and i can click on user and i can select wlan org which means anybody who is a part of wlan org label yahoo.com will be allowed or denied according to my need whatever i want i can do that and hit apply and save it here okay perfect one more thing what i want you to understand is in the in 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 the policies there is a last line that's called all users everything allowed all, all i mean all resources are allowed this is more like implicit allow i can go ahead and deny it which means you know whatever policies i've applied here that's good if, apart from that there's an implicit deny at the end okay that's that's what this particular thing means and uh, this is what i want you to understand so there are two types of labels one is the uh, site level one other one other is the org level on the site level you create policies which are implied on the site in the org level you you create policies which are implied on the entire org okay and uh, this is where you differentiate in the networks tab you create policies and labels which are on the uh, on the site level in the org tab you create labels and and policies which are on the on the entire org level right i'm sorry uh, in the networks tab you create labels and policies on the site level and in the org in the in the org tab you create labels and and policies on the entire org level perfect 
so guys thank you so much this is what i wanted to uh, basically discuss in the, in this video I, I would really appreciate and encourage you all to go ahead and try this out there are multiple types of labels that you that you might want to look at look at and play around with go ahead and do that and uh, if you have any questions any doubts around it let me know i would be more than happy to address that in in the chat below uh, in the video and thank you so much guys for your time and you have a wonderful day